In those days, there was no king in Israel, and everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Judges 20, 18 through 21, 25, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, you have to be sickened after reading today's passage. There's so much carnage that it almost becomes overwhelming to read. But the problem did not start with the tribe of Benjamin. It started at the time of the judges when they began. Each person lived their own life in the way they thought they should live it. A kind of, I'll live my life my way, and you can live your life your way, and we just won't bother each other. And that was very close to the attitude that we have here in the United States today. We live in a very selfish society. Everybody wants to do whatever they want to do. And there was an article in a newspaper about a young woman in England who died while the person was watching her online. He would paid for her to simulate hanging herself, and when she actually did hang herself, he watched her die without calling anyone to rescue her. His claim was that he didn't think she was really going to do it. Our society thinks of themselves first. They claim complete autonomy, and yet they complain when that autonomy does not give, include certain government benefits. They say that they want to be inclusive, but when they exclude people with whom they do not agree. Everyone is doing what is right in their own eyes, and this includes many Christians. Christians are not immune to this self-seeking, pleasure-obsessed society. There's even a term for their type of worship. It's called worshiptainment. It has the concept that we're to be entertained as we worship God rather than repenting in our worship with God. We want people to tell us how good we are. We want people to like us. We want people to give us praise, and we certainly do not want to recognize uh, who we are and repent from the way we live. Today marks the center point of the year. We have six months in which we can repent in preparation for Christ's birth. Will we continue to do our own thing, or will we join together in seeking God's will through our repentance?